Hey guys, this is the AI Druid here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I perform experiments with AI and try out the latest tech with relation to artificial intelligence. Today I'm excited to show you how to create a talk and avatar video using an extension called Sad Talker. With Sad Talker, you can combine a still avatar with an audio clip and it creates a video that looks like the avatar is speaking the audio. As you can see here on their GitHub page, they gave some examples. So all of these were still portrait images combined with audio and they created a talking head video. Uh, it's very easy to use. Um, once you have it installed, it's a little bit tricky to install, but I'll show you how in just a sec. Um, now it works completely uh, within the automatic 1111 interface that we all love from uh, that works with stable diffusion. Uh, it can use any image. You don't have to use um, an image it created within Stable Diffusion. You can use any image. And best of all, it's totally free. So uh, let's dive in to the installation and how you can get this working on your machine today. Okay, so first of all, you're going to need the automatic 1111 interface. Um, you're going to need Python 10.6, and uh, which is available. I'll put a link in the downloads. and when you get to this page here that has the Python releases, you're going to scroll all the way down until it says uh, 3.10.6. Um, so it's right down here. So you're going to download the Windows installer, 64-bit for me, whatever works for you. You'll also need a thing called FFMPEG, which basically compiles the video for you. So I'm going to paste a, a link to this wiki how, so I'll just give you a quick run through it. You download the latest version and it, it's linked within this wiki and what you want to do then is extract the files and then you make a folder on your c drive you call it ffmpeg you paste the contents of what you downloaded in there and then there's just some other stuff you got to do here um environment variables edit it's all very easy just follow the wiki how so once you've that done um you're ready to install sad talker so I've opened up my um, automatic 1111 interface here. So you're going to want to go to extensions. And now I already have this installed, so it's not going to install for me. So you're going to want to copy the GitHub URL up here. You're going to go to install from URL, paste it, uh, hit install. Now it'll take a few seconds to come up and it'll come up installed. And then you want to go back to the install tab here, check for updates, apply and restart the user interface. Okay, so now that you are restarting the user interface, you can head back here to the GitHub page. And if you click, see where it says here, the extension of the Stable Diffusion Web UI is online. Check out more details here. So you're going to click this here part, and then it'll say, for Windows, you can download all the checkpoints from Google Drive. Okay, so it'll take you this Google Drive page. Um, you're just going to hit this little drop down arrow up here, hit download. Um, when I downloaded these files, it actually downloaded into two zip files. So what you want to do is extract both the files. And then once you have them both uh, extracted, you're going to want to put um, both of these files, both of the contents of both of the extracted folders. Uh, in extensions and then in a folder called sad talker and this folder checkpoints didn't exist for me so i had to create the checkpoints folder so i just simple as a new folder called the checkpoints and then copied the contents of both the downloaded um extracted zip files in here and then you're good to go and when you go to use um stable diffusion uh, automatic 1111 interface with sad talker because you've just installed the extension, it'll automatically find these. It'll look for them and it will automatically find them. So that's the technical side of it. Just make sure you paste the contents of both of the folders in here or else it won't work. Don't do it like what I done and just put in one and I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't work for ages. So once that's installed, you'll have a tab up here within the automatic 1111 interface. And it's called Sad Talker, and it's a very easy to use uh, user interface here. So upload image. I'm going to upload my avatar, um, which is located in YouTube channel. And there we go. 
and I have a test audio here, which I also recorded. Test audio for Sad Talker, but you can use any audio clip. This one's just seven seconds long, so it's really easy just to create this video. So I'm just going to play the audio for you here. This is the avatar speaking. Hello. I was once a still image, but now I can talk. Okay, so probably bad recording on on my part there. I cut it off a bit at the end, but it, you'll get to see it either way and you'll understand. So simple as just upload the, the still image, upload the audio and then hit generate. And if we look in the in the terminal here, we can see it's starting to work. So I'm just going to leave it for a sec. Uh, well, first of all, look, you can see it's loading up the checkpoints here, which we've placed in the correct uh, directory. So it's only going to take about a minute and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Um, it took about a minute, minute and just over a minute, a minute and a couple of seconds. Uh, now I did hit this error here. Um, I'm not really sure why, but it doesn't matter. The video is still generated. So I'm just going to play it for you here and just uh, see how it turned out. This is the avatar speaking. Hello. I was once a still image, but now I can talk. Now, I know it's not 100% brilliant, but it is absolutely amazing that it just took a still image and an audio clip and was able to generate this video. Um, so if you want to save your video, you simply just right click, save video as, and it'll be an MP4. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions, uh, just drop a comment below. Any problems you had, just let us know. Uh, don't forget, there's lots of different ways you can process this. So if you want to mess with the settings or else find out the best settings, you can just hit this little hyperlink here where you click, please visit here, click that. And there's a big page there. It shows you all the best practices to do and the different uh, examples of different ways of doing it. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.